Okay, I'm recording. Good to go whenever. That's Peppy, the lead developer of OS. And this is Peepee, the thing you crave every waking moment. As of today, Peppy has enabled Peepee for score set in laser. Let's talk about exactly how this works, along with some other changes in this major laser update. What we were going for is adding a few things which have basically been stopping people from switching to laser. And one of the main ones there is obviously a proper PP system. So this update brings in a second instance of the website, which actually has all the infrastructure changes we've been working on to bring laser scoring into the picture. The experimental part is that it now includes all laser scores and all stable scores side by side. They both give PP and they both add up to give a new total. This experimental ranking will only show people who've submitted scores on laser. So if you're trying laser for the first time now, your rank will be set as soon as you submit a score. That said, enjoy being rank one for a day, Rupertian. Laser has a lot more mods and this whole mod customization thing. So how do these play into PP? Basically, look at this number. If it's 1.0, the experimental PP system will treat it as if you're playing with no mods. If it's below 1.0, your PP is nerfed. So the only mods that'll actually increase PP are Hard Rock, Double Time and Nightcore, Hidden, Flashlight, and uh, Blinds, I guess. Let's be real, you're not gonna earn PP with this. Also note that mod customization will reset this back to 1.0, so you can't earn easy PP with small speed adjustments. This will change in the future, but it's uncertain exactly how it'll change, which is where you come in. Yeah, we're, we're getting this out in a very raw state. A balance pass has not been applied anyway, so don't expect things to match your expectations in terms of how mods should play or how stable should compare to laser scores. That's all what we want to get feedback on to know where to focus the effort the most and also just to get a general idea of what the community expects. Okay, a quick summary of experimental PP. One, playing laser will give you an experimental PP rank, which you can get to from your profile right here. Two, this website displays both stable and laser scores together. For beatmap pages though, it'll display laser scores above stable scores, so it looks a little broken. This is a technical limitation for now. And three, balance for PP on laser is incomplete, pending feedback from you. This feedback could be about anything in laser, like the impact of mods on PP, or even your thoughts on gameplay changes in laser main disclaimer that I want to add, this whole system is very experimental and temporary, so don't get attached to your rank because it's 100% going to get reset to some degree, whether that involves deleting all scores or a subset of scores. Keep that in mind when playing. Enjoy the experience, but don't get too attached. Hey guys, what's that skin called? Argon, the laser default skin. I would like to formally announce that green guy on Twitter is an absolute liar because this is clearly Argon Pro. Necodex has been working on this new pro hit sound set, which kind of draws inspiration from the ping pong, the, the hit sounds that all the streamers and the pro players use. I basically told Necodex that I think we need something like that to give the instant attack, the instant feedback feel that people are looking for, um, but also making it not as harsh on the ears. The other thing is, uh, with the pro skin, we're going to start to apply changes which pro players want to see, such as hiding the maximum judgment, so the 300 or the perfect judgment in Mania. I think we'll continue to make small changes like that. The larger goal we have with skinning is to give all this customization to the users in form of individual settings and like presets. This is kind of a intermediary step. So if you're going to start your laser PP grind, try this skin too. While default skins so far have been targeted at new players, Argon Pro is designed for pros, so feedback for optimized high-level gameplay will have a lot more value. One of the main things that holds back some players with very large beatmap collections from switching to laser is the fact that they need to import all their beatmaps, and that causes double the disk usage right now. So with this release, that is actually fixed. As long as you have your laser and your stable data directories on the same drive, it's going to use some internal magic and share the files at a file system level. This really does seem unreal. It says that both stable and laser directories use a lot of storage, but this import process doesn't affect my hard disk space. The files are shared, yet somehow you can delete a map on one client and it'll still be available on the other. So files are also partly independent? Yeah, I don't know, trust Peppy. It is magic. By default, the beatmap listing in Laser filters to featured artists. To see all beatmaps again, you'll need to click this button here. 
As we continue to push the game out to new audiences and mobile is the main concern I have, uh, it's suddenly going to be played by a lot more players. And while we've been a bit lax on uh, licensing until now, with the featured artist program going so well, we figure, well, I figure that it's about time we make some changes to how this is exposed to users. And this is the first experiment we're doing here. And yes, this means Laser will be more accessible to iPhone users in the very soon future. Anyway, there's one more change to talk about, and this one's targeted at the people who are going to be trying Laser for the first time because of this experimental PP update. Over the last week, I've written up a really comprehensive document on where Laser is, which features Laser has, which Stable doesn't, and vice versa. Uh, and also just uh, listing all the common questions that people have asked about Laser in one place. So we pushed out this new page on the wiki, and that is going to be linked from inside of Laser in a very accessible place. The idea there is to give people somewhere to find answers while using Laser. So that's going to be the first point of getting help with Laser or understanding what Laser is and where it sits in the OS ecosystem right now. So yeah, in case it wasn't obvious enough, this is a big update focused on inviting new people to interact with Laser. Laser has been improving in the background for a while, and with the experimental PP and the rest of today's changes, it's moving more towards the foreground, and it'll soon reach the stable audience as a release stream option. As of right now, the main thing developers are looking for with all of this incoming attention is feedback. Forget your preconceptions about Laser. Just play it for yourself, experiment with the new PP system, and form your own opinions to guide the future development of Laser. And that's all for this Laser update. We wanted to talk about the big changes, but the changelog has a few small changes too, so read that if you're at all curious. Thanks for watching, and thanks for playing Laser.